Hi, I'm Ryan Alt. I'm a physicist, and this is how to solve distance and midpoint. So the first thing you want to do is draw your coordinate system. And we usually use um, three-dimensional systems. If you don't, you're actually just using a simplified version where it's two. So you have uh, an x. Uh, you can call the upward one y if you want, and z. You can call them whatever you want. And you have to identify your points. Now, let's say we have a point somewhere here and another one over here. You can identify these points with coordinates. So this first one has x1, y1, amount going up. And it also has z1, the amount coming out. Okay. And now the second point, of course, has x2, y2, and z2. If we want to find the distance between these points, we can use the equation distance is equal to the square root. Now, for uh, ease of calculation, I'm going to drop that third dimension. Let's say z2 equals z1. Okay, So we don't need that one anymore. And we can say that y2 minus y1 squared is non-zero. And likewise, x2 minus x1 squared is also non-zero. So this is the distance equation. And if we want the midpoint, we simply divide the distance divided by 2, because distance is the amount of space between these two points. And the midpoint is exactly in between. So we can find that m midpoint is equal to d over 2. I'm Ryan Alton, and this is How to Solve Distance and Midpoint.